Good morning, everybody. I hope you guys are doing well. We've got some really strange conditions and we're gonna be photographing some of the abandoned uh, homeless encampments around the river here. Uh, the city keeps pushing further towards this natural environment and pushing out a lot of the homeless people, which is kind of sad to see. But we're gonna be documenting on the Fuji GSW with some Portra and some Fuji, uh, no, scratch that, Ilford FP4. Um, and uh, I just kind of want to take you guys out on what it's like to document uh, a, a specific location. So this subject matter might be a little bit sensitive to some people, but um, that's part of documentary photography. So let's get after it. Don't adjust your screen, and trust me, I didn't color grade this in any sort of wacky way. We've got some wildfires that have been burning over in Canada that are making their way down here to Massachusetts, and we've got this crazy look in the sky. It almost looks like it's been sunrise for the last four hours. It's pretty wild right now. so strange I mean every time I come down here which is fairly often things change so much and obviously when you come around rivers tides are going in and out we're right in the bay this part is technically the river pretty brackish there's a lot of freshwater fish and saltwater fish in this little section here <clears throat> this air quality is terrible but we got these trees and we got all of this trash that just seems to um, change I mean this tree right here has been sort of standing upright for the longest time. Now it looks like it caught fire at one point and starting to knock over. We've got all of this trash. It, trash just seems to change so often. Um, but it's just pretty crazy. You know, you know environments change over time, but when you see it done so quickly, it really kind of drives home that fact. Um, and there's no better way to drive that home than to come out to your local river and see just how how quickly the environment changes along those banks, and uh, yeah, this is definitely one of those uh, one of those spots. When it comes to discarded things, this is amongst one of the most littered areas of uh, of Rhode Island, uh, right here along the Providence River in Providence, Rhode Island. This whole spot here is sort of used for uh, a homeless encampment and uh, currently there's only one encampment down there, this blue tarp and there's somebody sleeping but um, just a really bitter cold morning here in late, late winter. It's, uh, it's going to start to warm up though but we're going to focus on uh, photographing some of these these items, I mean, even just like looking into the trees, there's just, there's debris everywhere. <laughs> it's insane. It's absolutely insane. So one thing I look for when I'm out shooting a scene that I photographed before is sort of how the environment changes and this environment has changed pretty dramatically. And um, you just want to be able to capture those moments, but maybe not compose the exact same way. You want to try to find something new in each scene, especially when I come down here, there are still some homeless people that do hang out down here. Um, and I would prefer to photograph them if there were any today, but I have not seen any 
because uh, again the police keep kicking them out so no such luck but um, keep my fingers crossed keep my eyes peeled as you can see it's pretty dark in there pretty bright out on the shoreline um, so I'm gonna get into the darkness and uh, see what I can find So I left that little location and I uh, wanted to come to another location on my way back that I have photographed a bunch of times and I typically will sit right in this exact same spot in my car very inconspicuously as people walk by this little crosswalk. And I try to photograph them with the Capitol building in the background and today was just like a perfect scenario. This woman came by, you know how people say like dog owners look like their dog? This was one of those ladies and I captured it right in the middle of the crosswalk pretty sweet pretty happy about it great lighting and uh hopefully that one turns out all right but i wanted to talk about that because this is one of those things about documentary photography is that you come back to the same locations every once in a while and you just sit and you photograph the same exact thing just hoping for a different outcome uh and in those situations i'm literally <laughs> look at this car just pointing it <laughs> looks right at me uh, i'm literally hoping for like the perfect person to walk by <laughs> 